Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. In December 2012, the political phenomenon known as the Arab Spring entered its third year. But the wave of reform, which began in December 2010 and led to regime changes in Libya, Egypt, Tunisia, and Yemen, has turned violent and unpredictable. Many are calling this post-revolutionary phase the Arab Winter. For months, secular opposition forces in Egypt have increased pressure on President Morsi, whom they accuse of attempting to consolidate power in the hands of his party, the Muslim Brotherhood. And in the last week of January 2013, violent protests that began in the city of Port Said spread to the capital of Cairo. The growing chaos led Defense Minister and Army Chief of Staff General Sisi to declare that the Egyptian state was in danger of collapse. In neighboring Libya, the inability of the central government to control the nation's numerous militias may have contributed to the killing of American Ambassador Chris Stevens in an assault on a U.S. diplomatic compound in September 2012. The Los Angeles Times has reported that weapons originating in Libya have been smuggled into the hands of insurgents in northern Mali, where French-led troops are currently engaged in a high-intensity conflict with Islamic rebel fighters. In Syria, a bloody civil war waged by the rebel forces of the Free Syrian Army against the regime of President Assad has widened to include Islamist Mujahideen and Kurdish militants. The United Nations estimates that the conflict has made refugees out of 700,000 Syrians. As the novelist Thane Rosenbaum has noted, the Arab Spring succeeded in ending the rule of strong men like Hosni Mubarak and Muammar Gaddafi, but has yet to deliver on the promise of stability and democracy in North Africa and the Middle East. What do you think? Is the Arab Spring over? Have we entered the Arab winter? And if so, how long will it last? I'm Gusta Johnson of Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.